So welcome to another Bootstrap 3 tutorial. Before I begin this video, I just want to say that I have got a better mic stand now, which means that I can have it much closer to my mouth, uh, which in general makes the quality better. And by a better mic stand, I'm actually talking about a Pringles tube. So yeah. Um, so yeah, the quality is going to be a lot better now, hopefully. Sorry if it's a lot louder than normal if you, and you've had to turn your volume down, but um, hopefully it should be better in the long run. So in this video we're going to be creating this sort of panel here on the left which has got our article in it. So we're going to be starting on this article page and this section over here we'll be doing in one of the next tutorials. So this panel is, everything's built into Bootstrap although we do need to create some extra CSS tweaks to overwrite some of the styles. Uh, we have some issues with like padding and things but it's generally quite easy. So we've got a header up here, uh, we've got a picture here, we've got paragraphs and whatever you want inside here. I've already been through, in the, through this in the first video, so I'm not really going to go through it. So hop into our code. Um, what you want to do is just go and duplicate uh, what's in this index.html. So we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call it read.htm. And this is going to have our actual new page in it. So copy and paste here. And inside of our read.html, we want to create, we want to, sorry, remove some of the stuff. We want to remove the actual content. So we want to remove everything except for the header and the footer and the modal. So start at this div here, which is just above the navbar at the bottom. And then go all the way up to this, uh, to the top of the Jumbotron. So that's this container here. And just delete it. So now if we save that, and we come into our code here, into our display view, sorry. You can see it's just a blank canvas with a header and a footer and everything like that. So now we're ready to actually create our panels. We're going to be doing this based on a uh, fluid grid system. So the left is going to be divided into nine. Uh, sorry, it's going to be the left is going to be spanning nine, and the right will span three. So we're going to do div class equals row, and then inside here we're going to have a div class equal to col dash lg dash nine so that spans nine it should be anything new to you if you followed the series uh, if it is new to you go back and watch the video on uh, grid system so anyway inside here we're gonna have a div with a class equal to panel and we also need one more class for this which is panel dash default and this gives us the colors and the styles and everything like that to make it look good now you also get other types of panels with different colors I personally don't like them and in this situation they're not really going to work although of course I'll link you down to the uh, bootstrap documentation below so you can have a look at that if you want to you can have a look at all the different uh, styles but in my opinion default works best here so in here what we're going to have is just test so now if I save that and we go and refresh you can see what test now the first issue here is it's spanning just really far and this is because we need to put this whole thing inside a container so I'm just going to nudge this all in a bit and then here I'm going to go div class equal to container and that of course will center it all and it's going to close off uh, here okay so I just uh, fixed all of the indentation here it was the same code but I've just put all the indentations properly in there um, okay so now if I refresh you can see it's now centered but the problem we've still got is that this padding is not looking good it's it's too close to the borders so what we're gonna do is create we're gonna remove this I'm gonna put another div inside here which is panel dash body and close that off and inside here we'll just put test. So now if I refresh, it's all looking really good. It's spanning nine, it's got good padding. Uh, so yeah, it's all looking really good. Uh, as I said before, we're not gonna be bothering about the stuff on the right here. Uh, for now, we're gonna be doing the stuff on the left. So now we're gonna be using a built-in class called the page header. And this is gonna give us all the styling for the page header, as the class name says. So this is just page-header. And inside here, we're going to have a h3 tag. And this is going to say um, whatever you want. 
so if I refresh that you see it says whatever you want and now I'm aware there's an issue of the padding at the top here we're going to sort that in a moment we can also add a small tag and inside here go posted on July 26th or something like that now if we refresh that uh, one more thing you want to do is add a space here so now if we refresh that that looks really good so that's starting to look like this uh, the issue we have here is the padding between or the sort of margin between this and the top of the panel so that is where our CSS file kicks in first what we need to do is add a page dash header and inside here we're just going to put margin dash top and set this to zero so that will clear our margin on the top refresh that that's looking better but we've still got a padding for uh, the panel so the next thing we need to do is add a page dash body sorry panel dash body I mean dash body and inside here what we're going to have is uh, a padding dash top is zero so now if we refresh that it all looks brilliant that, that is fitting properly we've got whatever how many pixels this is here and it's all looking good and if I bring it in everything's obviously still the same so heading back into our normal code in our HTML file sorry underneath this page header we're going to add the featured image so this is simply going to be an IMG class equal to feature image and it's going to have a src so the location of the file I'm going to leave that blank for now and that's it so if I head into our file structure what I need to do is put our image in here so I actually already have the image here it's inside a folder called images I'm going to copy that and this is the root directory of our site so I'm going to create a new folder here call it img and paste that image in there and that image is called motox and it's a .jpg so src and this is going to be img forward slash motox.jpg so now if I save that and you see um, brackets it does this really cool thing where it actually shows you the picture when you hover over it so we know that we've got our uh, it's hooked in properly so brackets has been able to find it so we've obviously referenced it right refresh here and there's our picture now we have this issue here where it's slightly overlapping so what we're going to do is add a width here equal to 100% and this is just going to make sure it's 100% of the parent so in this case the parent is this panel so it's going to fit 100% of the way of this panel so now that's all looking really good we can add our paragraph underneath so I'm just going to head over to lipsum and I'm just going to generate Lauren Ipsum and copy and paste this into under here. So we're going to create paragraph tags here and just paste that in. So now if I save that and we go back into our, into our site, you can see that that paragraph text is there. The next thing we need to do is add a margin between this and this. So the picture and the text needs to have a bit of space in between it. Uh, I think this is about 20 pixels that we need to add so we're going to add a margin dash bottom to this picture okay so we're going to add dot featured image because that's the class for the featured image and we're going to say margin dash bottom and there's actually 15 pixels that we need in this situation and I found that using trial and error that's the easiest way to find most things so now if we go and refresh what have I done wrong uh, I put featured feature image that's supposed to be featured IMG so now if we refresh that it's all looking fine uh, you see we've got this 15 pixel gap here so yeah the next thing we can do is add headings so we're going to do h4 and this is just going to be our heading and then I'm just going to copy and paste this paragraph here so save that and refresh and you see everything's looking good now so that's pretty much it for this video. You can add as whatever you want in here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.